beloved toy maker, we will learn, has a sad fate over his head. For in spite of his goodness, a path of tragedy and death he will tread. Day and night in his workshop he labors, he hammers, he sweats, and he fasts. And with every blow he strikes, sighs fly from his soul to the figures he casts. Famous and beloved toy maker, day and night in his workshop. The famous and beloved toy maker. Day and night in his workshop. Splendid choice. His fame spreads in whispers across the land far and wide until his name is known and respected by every man and child. One fateful day, a nobleman knocks at his workshop door. He's jolted from his work with a start. The promises and smiles of Walter Bernhardt can see a dark, hideous heart. No, no, no. Listen carefully. One fateful day, a nobleman knocks at his workshop door. Excellent decision. Walter offers a roof, friendship, protection, Aha! The Bernhardt's castle will be a dazzling mansion for the old toy maker and worth of his craft. A curse on you, Walter Bernhardt, for deceiving such a good soul. May you be damned to spend all eternity in hell's darkest hole. Very astute. Our hero works away happily in the castle of his dreams. But soon we will see his perfidious master's purpose is not what it seems. Oh my god! This is no castle but a prison! Poor oh, Toymaker, now you understand how close is your perdition. Hide yourselves, boys and girls. Walter Bernhardt is preparing an invocation here. A terrible creature of hell is about to appear. Extraordinary! Oh no! The demon is conjuring the charm! Take cover now, if you are easily alive.
Oh no! The toy maker's talent now comes to his potato's benefactor's end. Far behind him now are the toys and the theatre he had made. Oh, if only to undo this vile spell there were some chance, and so release the good toy maker from the grip of his vile charm. His mind may be in the fog, but the toy maker's good heart shines through, you can tell. And a little love is all it takes to destroy the terrible spell. But now you must think fast, toy maker. Your situation is dire. Walter Bernhardt is returning. I don't know how you can escape from this smile. Oh, what a terrible and fortunate idea, boys and girls. Come on, little one. Hold on to that heart so pure and true. In a distant and hopeful future, you may return it to the one who gave it to you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the part of a man whose goodness tends to Listen now and decide if you will wake from his long. Good sir. <laughs> How long has it been? Oh, never mind, it doesn't matter now. <laughs> Your face seems oddly familiar. Hmm? <laughs> oh, you must forgive me. I'm just a little confused, you see. I suppose my memory will return in time. Your memories are of no interest to me, Toymaker. I'm looking for the Mirror of Fate. The Mirror of Fate? Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, the mirror was broken many years ago. Yes, now I remember. It was when the Lord of Darkness was defeated by his own son. The castle came down, and the mirror broke. I vaguely recollect seeing it amongst the ruins. Ha! Wait! I found a fragment and I kept it. <laughs> now I remember. <laughs> whoa, 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 what's happening? <laughs> Ha! 
I brandish infallible spear, ready to defeat a sinister invader who threatens the memory of his beloved Brunhilda. Fill the night's arm with strength. Unprotected, decided to leave it there to sow terror and destruction. Hellish flames sprung from the dragon's belly. Careful, <laughs> <laughs> this passage is very fragile. Sleep now!
Sleep now! to give me a fragment of the Mirror of Fate. Ah, yes. Here it is. Oh, yes. Good. Good. You know, it's all starting to come back to me. I... I know who you are. Oh, my... my... Goodbye, old man. Guard your heart well.
Let's die. You brought me another piece. There are still some missing pieces. There is one other piece, and I know who has it. But he isn't here in the castle. Where is he, Sam? Close your eyes. Just for a moment. I'm pleased to see you again. What happened to you after you destroyed the Acolyte? I lost all trace of you. Where have you been? Attending to my own affairs. Ah, I see. But of course you have been away such a long time. Everything appears to be in order, sir. The other Acolytes will know one of them is dead by now. Indeed. But... they don't know who was responsible. I'm sure word will reach them soon. I have little doubt that they will discover who it was before too long. I'm afraid that they already suspect you have come out of hiding, my friend. Even as we speak, a powerful presence searches for you in your little hideout in the church. Who? Oh. An envoy of the Acolytes, I believe, though I cannot be certain. I'll go and see for myself. Whoever it is may lead us to them. Accompany him. No. I don't need a dog. <laughs> 